So I'm doing a voiceover, um, this, that was called Amethyst, I'm trying to be really quick, um, I missed that, I have no idea what that was called, Shao Pink or something, you know, you, you can look at the video, I'm doing <laughs> Christmas nails, yes it's September, yes it's very early, if you don't know me then this isn't early for me. I love Christmas, okay, Christmas starts for me in September, okay, Christmas shopping, starting to buy decorations, all of that sort of jazz, okay. So, um, in this, this now here, I am using Hand Dolly, um, if you are new here then welcome to my channel, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. You probably think my thumbs are absolutely rank. Yes, they are. They are damaged. Um, I damaged the nail beds years ago and they just grow really wonky. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to clear that up. I do have to, I do mention it in quite a lot of my videos just to let everybody know, just in case you are new. But I'm using this Amethyst by Savaland Acrylic. Um, it's a really pretty purpley colour and I'm going to do a ombre with that. This is my own. It was just silver glitter that I mixed with clear acrylic. Um, I didn't have any big pots, I'd ran out. Um, so the silver acrylic and, well, the silver glitter, I had to mix it with clear and try and get it in this tiny little pot, which is what I've done. Um, this one I do a full nail of this, but I do leave the kind of like the tip, the free edge, a little bit more clear. It's just faded down slightly. So yeah, I I do that. Um, yeah, I'm. I was just trying to think of what my brush is called, and I can't remember. I can't remember where it's from. <laughs> Um, oh no, what's it called? I can't remember, but I will try and everything that I can find, I will leave in the description box. So yeah, um, everything that I can find will be linked down below. Um, obviously apart from that acrylic that I made, because you know, that they, that's my own. Um, yeah, it's, it's really easy if you're not sure how to do it, literally, um, just you you just mix i just put a little bit of glitter in and then like like one little scoop so i use the cuticle pusher i do one little scoop of that and then about five um scoops of clear um just to make sure that it is gonna cure it is gonna go hard it's gonna set if not if you don't have enough it's just gonna stay rubbery yeah so um it's quite easy it's quite easy to to do that what do I do next? I mean, I've literally only just done these and I cannot remember what I did next. I was trying, oh, that was what I was trying to show you. Um, so these I got from Shein, I wanna say. They're, they're like different colors on each side, but I chose that rose gold side instead of the actual gold side because it's um, iridescent, whereas the other gold side isn't. So I don't know if that is just the, the color of the back of it. Um, but it's a bit disappointing because at the end they do look, th those little um, stockings I've just showed you, the rose gold one that I just put on there, or is it a boot, is it a Santa boot, I'm not sure. Um, it does look red at the end instead of rose gold. So um, yeah, I was a bit bit disappointed with that. I, I don't know why it looked red, it might have been the lighting, I, I don't know. But I got those from Shein, they had a couple of different ones. Well, they had, they have, they're in a pot, but they're all mixed and you get like stars and things as well. Um, yeah, different colours, green, no it's not, it's blue. A beautiful, beautiful ice blue um, Christmas trees in there as well. So I was going to do ice blue instead, 
but I know that a lot of people do red and green or white and ice blue and I wanted to do something a little bit different so those are bells and they're like a purple iridescent purple color um yeah so I'm just sticking those on but I know I had to go back in with a little bit more acrylic which is what I'm doing now because it, it dried and there wasn't very much on the end because I wanted that to be quite clear so I'm just using that just to stick them down they are quite bendy as well which is really good they're really flexible so they're they they feel like metal but they're not um yeah so I've got a runny bead because that one was just like no you haven't put enough acrylic on we're just going to move so I just wanted to make sure that when I come to clear cap that nail it's when I you know clear cap it they don't move so I just put a little bit of a wet clear acrylic bead on top I think this is this shellic what is it Oh, shell pink. Um, that's from Nail Nails. And this is what I'm going to do the ombre with on the purple nail, the index finger. I'm actually getting a lot better at doing ombres now. I used to be terrible. I mean, nobody is brilliant when they first start doing nails okay so don't be disheartened if you're you're struggling okay I did it just takes practice that's all it takes practice um I'm sorry if I keep going closer to the phone it's because I keep moving because I am just doing a voiceover I'm hoping the lighting's a bit better I had my ring light actually on the floor behind the desk as tall as it would go and just stood up so it was facing the hand Whereas this time I've moved, I've basically changed everything because I can't keep anything in one place. Um, I genuinely can't, I struggle with that. I put the ring light as low as it will go. And now the ring light is actually over, like the ring itself goes around my um, clamp that holds my um, camera. So it's around it. So I'm hoping the lighting is a bit better and it's not as dark. Because I do it in my summer house, which is my beauty room, it has been done out into a beauty room. It used to be really, really pretty, but it's just not anymore. <laughs> um, because I did used to do um, nails for clients in there, so it was really, really nice. But then I just stopped doing it and done YouTube instead. Um, yeah, there was, I was going somewhere with that. Where was I going with that? Oh yeah, there's no light, there's no, literally no light in there. Ah, okay. Dipping powder by Born Pretty, uh, Born Pretty. Now, I do use this as acrylic. You cannot use Born Pretty just on its own. I took a little bit of that out, just a little bit, and I've put clear acrylic in there because it won't set. If, if It will not set. I thought, I did think that all dipping powders you could still use as um, just, just normal acrylic but you know with monomer but you cannot do that it just stays rubbery so I took a bit out mixed it with some clear acrylic and it works fine yeah so that's what I'm doing now and I can't remember what I do with this nail um I think I do a full nail with this this color um I don't know you might not have watched my last video of four nails um four ish you know, I'm really bad at picking designs, really bad at doing designs. Well, I can do, if, if you give me a picture, I can do it. But thinking of my own design, I, I can't do it. I cannot do it for the life of me. But um, my next video, I am going to do some just normal retro Christmas nails, you know, green, white, red. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do some of that. I'll do some color blocking. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some of that. I think because I just I can't I can't pick designs. I really can't. My my issue is I see acrylics that I haven't used in so long, and then I just want to use them all, like four of them, and none of them match, and it just looks really crap. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so. 
yeah this one i do an ombre on this one as well so i'm using again that dipping powder which i only took a bit out of and i mixed it with clear acrylic and then i go in with the purple amethyst by Savilland um to do the blend um <clears throat> I forgot what I was going to say, but I'll just let you watch this and I'll be back in a second. And I'm back. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cap now. Um, this is now Republic. Um, that's from eBay. That's where I get that from. And I have the, I'm using the monomer as well. I will leave that linked. Honestly, I really, really like it. I think the monomer was 7 99 for 100 mil. And I think the clear acrylic for the 100 gram tub with a tub was £15 or you can get off eBay as well, it's the same lady, um, clear acrylic 100 gram but in a bag for £11. Um, yeah, so it's, it's up to you what, what you want to do. I mean, if you've already got a pot that's big enough to fit 100 grams in, then you might as well just get the bag. But um, I really like it. I haven't had any issues with it. It's beginner friendly as well. It doesn't set too fast. So, and it's it's cheap. It's, it's nice and cheap. It does the job, especially for videos. All the nail tips that I'm using are from Shein. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember what other coffin, the extra long coffin the uh, ring finger i done stiletto though i just wanted to change it up and they are good they're, they're not like flimsy but the part that you stick on your natural nail that's quite flimsy but only that part the rest of it's fine it's just that one little part that you know you glue on your natural nail that bit is quite flimsy and um, it bends really really easy I have worn them before they myself and they were absolutely fine. Yeah, you just you just have to go careful that you're not pushing too pushing down too hard when you're gluing them on just in case they snap. My brush is a number eight. Again, I can't remember where it's from. Um I keep trying to catch a glimpse of it, but I just can't. Ah, 
oh what does that say love by cjp i think that's where it's from um i think that's what it says number eight i used to have like a number 12 when i used to do clients and then i stopped doing nails for months probably about four months so i went back to a small brush just in case i forgot how to you know pick up a bead i didn't obviously um and i i really want to get a bigger brush because this one just does not pick up beads big enough yeah so nice little interesting story for you there Okay, so they have all been capped. I'm just showing you, I have this iridescent um, Christmas transfer foil and I'm going to be doing it on the ring finger. But I do also do one on the index finger as well. Probably, that's just, I'm just showing you what file I use to file them. Yes, they've all been filed and buffed, kind of shaped. It's really hard to shape on hand dolly because her hands... I'm sorry, fingers aren't flexible. So, poseable, sorry, they move. You can move them around, but they don't stay there. So it is really hard to file on hand dolly. So I, I, I do just do the best I can. Um, yeah, the nail foil was probably not really the right color to go for, was it being, because of me putting on a white background um, and their iridescent silver, it, it didn't stand out as much as I would have wanted it to. So I'm just doing a top coat now on all of the nails. So I just cured those in the lamp for two minutes. Um, I like to do two minutes just to make sure that it is fully cured. I don't want no like bubbling and things like that. So I'm going in with my cart foil glue. Um, this foil glue it is, you do have to put it in a UV or LED light. So I'm just putting it in the places I want that transfer foil to go. Again, I'm doing it on two fingers. Um, I cure, I'm just, I think I'm showing you. I don't know if I've already cured it. We'll find out in a second. Some little reindeers. Um, yeah, so I've already cured that and I cured that for two minutes. Um, the longer you cure transfer foil glue, the better the transfer foil will stick. Now, <laughs> I made a mistake here. I put that transfer foil the wrong way around. I haven't used it for quite a while, transfer foil, and I forgot which way, whether it was matte side down or matte side up. Um, I still can't remember. I, I do change it in the end. I was thinking, well, why is this, this is really stuck down? And then I realized it's actually because I've put it, that's me really struggling to get it back off. I've put it the wrong way around. Um, so the other one, which is a little lady, which I just thought that was really cute, um, I turn her around so I knew that she was the right way around because I knew that that um on the ring finger I'd done the wrong way around yeah so
So um, I'm just rubbing it just to make sure it all transfers really well. And it has. You can't, in person, you can see it really well, but because of the iridescentness, iridescentness, I don't know if that's a word, um, it, it just doesn't look very good on camera. Um, yeah, so that, there's that. So I am turning, I've just turned that around and I'm hoping it's still sticky enough for it to transfer. I was going to put two on, but then I realised that they're just not going to fit on the nail um, where I've put the glue and I couldn't be bothered to then have to take hand dolly back off the desk and put her under the lamp and then stick her back on the desk because she's a nightmare to stick down. Um, yeah, so, and it did transfer, there was enough stick left on there. I think um, I went overboard with the design. I've just done so much to it. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> just could not help myself. This bit I actually mess up on. Um, I forgot to do something in between, which is really stupid. Oh, by the way, the top coat is a no-wipe non, non, no top coat, so it's not sticky. Um, so on this part, I am doing kind of like snowdrop not snowdrops what is it called snow that's dangling down i don't know i i don't know i don't know what it's called um yeah so i do this then i remembered where i have put the little lady um i should have top coated that first and i don't um to protect it you will see in a minute, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. So basically I do this, then I put some glitter dust over the top of the white, but it sticks because where that lady is, she's still sticky. It sticks to that as well. And I try wiping it off, forgetting that I haven't cured the white snow bits. Yeah, um, I, I can't explain it, it's, it's too difficult. <laughs> you will see though. Um, yeah, you will see what I mean. I actually thought I did these ones quite well as well. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to look. I have no idea. I think they should be thicker than that at the top. Because I don't think I've ever done these before. But, you know, it's, it's, it's all right. It's okay. It's a, meh. It's one of those. It's in between. Um, yeah, I think I bring the two sides down a little bit longer. Or am I lying? No, I don't. I'm lying. I'm telling you lies. Uh, yeah, this is um, just some white glittery glitter dust. I have got the same in silver as well, which is really pretty. Don't use the silver often enough. So you just pop it on there and you dab it. You don't, don't, do not dip the nail into the glitter though, because it will push all that gel polish back. You just want to gently, see, see, what am I doing? I haven't cured it yet. And then I realise, and I'm like, oh no, can I, can it be saved or should I start over again? And then I just, I, I end up getting some acetone, a little like lint free wipe. And I just wipe it off because there is no saving that. It, to be honest, it probably looks better than what it did the first time that I did it. Um, yeah, so, uh, this is me, because I know I'm going to do the same on that nail, um, I end up changing my mind though, but I do do it and then I wipe it off, so I'm top coating that to protect it, um, because you can't go over and wipe it because you're going to wipe off the little reindeer, otherwise you have to top coat it before you go in with any of the designs that you want to do. Um, yeah, so you have to top coat it before you move to your next step. Lip free wipe. Some acetone. And I just wipe it off. And because I haven't put a top coat on the little lady, not that you can tell it's a lady, but you can in real person, I'm having to go really careful that I don't accidentally get acetone on there. Otherwise I'm going to wipe it off. It probably would have been quicker 
much faster if I just wiped her off and just done another layer of her. That that probably would have been better, but my mind doesn't work like that in videos. My mind just goes all scattered. And there I am doing the top coat to protect the little lady. I just, I don't, I mean, you can kind of see she's a lady there in her dress. You can't now, but yeah, it is a lady. Sorry, I'm just having some of my drink. And then I go back in and do it again. So I'll just let you watch this for a second. So I don't, yeah, I wipe it off in the end. I do not like it on that nail at all. Um, yeah, I, I don't like it. This one I take off and I just pop in the lamp to cure for two minutes, just, just to make sure they're cured. On the index finger that I'm gonna do now is a bauble. Um, yeah, I sh me in circles, we ain't, we, we're not mates, we're not even frenemies, we, we are literally enemies, we hate each other, we despise each other, me and circles do not get on, um, yeah, if I, I try and make it into a perfect circle, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, so, yeah, me and circles, pff, no, we will never be friends, I don't even want to speak to him, okay, we're not friends. If you're friends with circles, we can't be friends. Okay. <laughs> Kidding. Um, yeah, so I'm just I'm just doing a little bauble. Um what else do I do? What else do I do? What else do I do? Ah. Oh yeah, I dust it. This because I really wanted a sugar nail. Um look, I understand that these nails. There was a lot going on with them. I just didn't know when to stop. I, I just can't help myself. I'm terrible with, I just want to use everything. But my next video, I'm going to really, really, really try my hardest to make them look so nice. Um, and I'm just going to do the red, green and white, um, you know, like retro Christmassy design. Um, yeah, so I've popped that in the lamp. This bit I'm going to fast forward because it's a freaking nightmare. It kept coming off. It's some three little metal, well, they look like bracelets, but they're not. Um, it is for nails. Well, that's what it said, says on Shein. That's where I got them from. It's a pack of three, you get different colours of them. Absolutely stunning. I put, tried to put it down the side. I'm there for about 10 minutes trying to do it. It does stick. Um, but when I cut the end off, it comes off and it's just because I'm using a top coat. Obviously, I would normally use bling it if it was on myself or something like that. But just for this, I don't. So I'm going to fast forward this bit. Um, I do change it. I end up just putting that down the middle of the nail because it looks better. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so um, this is where <laughs> you see me try and cut it and have a little flap, see? Yeah. So I ended up doing it again, I just put it down the middle of the nail, it looked better anyway. And it's in the lamp curing, I did flash cure it with my little flash cure torch and then I put it in the lamp so it didn't move. That's a little piece of nail jewellery, um, I don't know where it's from, my sister-in-law gave it me, but I will try and find them, if I can they will be linked. Um, yeah, so I end up putting that on and it just, I love it. It does go with the purple, but <laughs> I've just done too much, haven't I? 
I don't know when to stop. I need help. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm just flash curing that. And this is the finished result. So please let me know what you think, if you liked it, if it helped you. Um, and if you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up and like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.